Hey guys, Chuck here again, and today I'm just working on my DJI digital goggles, and these are awesome, except the shape of the um, pad and everything kind of doesn't fit a whole lot of faces. So um, they sell foam that you can exchange in here. There's a little Velcro on the inside, but a quick fix, um, I think, is going to be to use these 3D printed little wedges that you can find on Thingiverse. I'll put the link down below. But basically, um, you, you uh, peel up the peel up the foam and stick these in. But you know, the challenge is, what do you, you know, how do you attach them and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Velcro that um, it's basically a uh, cable ties. So one side has the uh, soft fuzzy and the other side has the um, hard. So, so I'm just basically going to take this uh, material and cut it down, you know, put it the right side out and use hot glue to just, um, you know, attach the um, Velcro to the, to the um, wedge. So I don't think you need to be perfect on this. So what I'm going to do is, um, so basically I printed these things really, really light. So they're kind of hollow and they got like holes and stuff, but that's not going to make a lot of difference once I put the, the Velcro on. So, so I think first thing to do is decide what side you're going to work on. So let's just say I'm going to work on the um, right side. Oops, don't put the camera, right side. So the right side has this um, that scratchy hard on there and the pad has a soft on it. So the wedge, this the right way? Yeah, I do. Okay. So the wedge, if it sits in there, I'm bumping the camera all over the place. Uh, the wedge, if it sits in there, um, should bring the pad in just a little bit. Looks like about a centimeter or so. So you can just pop them in there, um, but they're not going to stay. So let's go ahead and, and get some Velcro attached to this edge here. So I'm just gonna basically just sort of free form it. Um, hot glue gun. Oh, there's a piece in there already. Okay, okay, so, so I want to have the soft side out here. Let me double check. I'm gonna put this in here. Let's see. Let's try it again. Does it cut out? Cut out. Right. Okay. So just like that. And so soft side has to go here. Okay. So far, just roughly hot glued on some pieces. Have to fix it up a little bit, but once you get that soft side down, place it in there, and now it's actually staying in place, and so I can just now go in and uh, put some hard side Velcro right here and right here and uh, should be good for one side. So, so let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so not the most beautiful thing, but as soon as I pick off some of the excess, oh, some of the excess hot glue, I 
should be able to um, have a pretty decent looking installation. So let's just go ahead and do a test fit. I'm gonna have to repeat this for the other side, of course. But here's the set of goggles. Let me go ahead and place that. foam on there. Look at that. So there's the inside. A little bit of uh, the print hanging out a little bit, but I think it's I think it's okay. So there's a difference. You can see the wedge here. No wedge here, so I'll go ahead and get this other side. So that was about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes worth of work or something like that. So probably going to be worth it. You know, seal those light leaks around the edges. So there you have it. Okay, so I'm finding that the best way to do it is just go ahead and glue on the um, Velcro and let it hang off. And you don't have to be perfect. And then later on, go back and take your scissors, trim that back, and then and take your hot glue and and then fill in the um, you know the parts you missed. So not exactly a not exactly a perfect job, but. There you go. So just keep on going, covering it up, and uh, you'll end up having uh, both sides covered. But the hardest part is to make sure you get the soft side on the on the correct side and the hard side on the <laughs> opposite side. And I forgot a few times and and glued on, you know, the wrong way. So so anyway, it's just one of those things. Okay, there you go. Okay, well, <laughs> the light leak is uh, substantially reduced. And what I can say is that maybe I have a few pinholes of light um, around the edges, but the nose now needs to be um, a little bit refitted. But overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, light leak's been pretty much eliminated from the sides. All right, well, thanks a lot.